Hey y'all, and welcome to my first ever attempt at a moto vlog. And today I will be taking my 2019 FLHTP, which is a Harley Davidson Electroglide Police Edition, into the uh, dealership Cowboy Harley Davidson of Beaumont to get its uh, 1,000 mile break in service. And uh, just to give a quick overview of the bike, uh, this is it. I haven't done much to it yet. Uh, I did put the clockworks windshield on it to give this thing some downforce uh, over well let's say at, at higher speeds it does like to lift on the front end and, and that clockwork screen helps I've also got a clear view shield on order uh, I'm gonna try it out also to see if it does a little better with the buffeting I did the uh, heel shifter delete on it the luggage rack and I also have a, a sissy bar a quick detached sissy bar that I, I put on for uh, when I have a pillion as far as just riding around I, I really like the way it looks with this luggage rack uh, bike is super dirty as you can tell it's a very gray overcast day and for the weather that we've had this past month uh, is actually really great weather um, southeast texas we get a lot of rain down here so the bike's really dirty just from the from the streets being wet and, and mucky uh, the only other thing i've done is um, when they took the uh, red and blues off they put some driving lights on there uh, and they were halogens it did come with a daymaker headlight and i put the um, aftermarket uh, LED passing lights on there I'd, I just I just couldn't fork out the 400 bucks for the for the Harley branded ones but uh, the 40 for these was okay and they're really bright they work really really well and though they may not be quite as bright as the Harley ones uh, for the price so I'll, I'll take it so anyway uh, let's hit the road and get to Beaumont got a couple of stops to make on the way and uh, Thanks for riding along with me. Taking kind of the scenic route, 1130 is one of the better roads around here. We don't have really good riding roads in, in this area. Um, it's very flat, not much in the way of hills at all, uh, but we do have a lot of swamps. And uh, even the good curvy roads are kind of few and far between because we don't have hills and stuff we're trying to get around what curves that we do have around here is is mainly trying to get around uh bodies of water you know firmer ground and such but this little road right here is uh for this area is uh, one of the better roads Anyway, this 2019 Electric Glide, I'm really enjoying it so far. I traded in my 2014 Softail Slim for this bike, and uh, the reason I bought the Slim in the first place was so that I could go ride with my wife. She bought herself a Fat Boy, and uh, we've really been enjoying riding together. And. Uh, when she first bought it, she was kind of intimidated by it, didn't want to really take it out and ride it. But uh, I got her a little Suzuki LS650, which was uh, about half the weight and less than half the displacement for her to get trained up on what she got her confidence up. Uh, she started taking her Harley out on the road. Well, I would uh, ride with her on that little 650, and uh, that worked out pretty good. That 650 is now my son-in-law's bike, and uh, I ended up getting that Softail Slim 
so that we could ride together because well my other bikes are, are considerably faster and it just uh i don't know it just felt weird tootling along at 65 to 75 miles an hour and uh i got that swim to just kind of cruise on and it worked out well we uh really enjoyed riding together like that uh, the problem was what I did not expect was that I would enjoy riding that slim near as much as I did. And it did great on the highway, but even on just roads like this, just riding about like I am right now, I was bashing the floorboards into every one of these turns. And, you know, it, it just... It's one thing at slow speeds, at slow maneuvers, but just going down a road like this, when you know you're clipping along 80 miles an hour, 70, whatever, in a, a decent kind of turn, and you're not only dragging the floorboards, but you're bashing hard parts into the ground and levering that rear tire, and uh, that is very disconcerting. So. It just, it, it didn't work out. I wanted to love that bike, I really did. But it just, I, I couldn't deal with it. Uh, anyway, I went to uh, Cowboy and initially I was actually gonna head to Costa Mesa, California to look at a Moto Guzzi El Dorado. And uh, went into Cowboys to trade a shirt my wife had got for Christmas. And, uh, our salesman Phil, who we bought the Fat Boy and the Slim and this bike off of, uh, got to visiting with him and he had this Electroglide new old stock and they cut me a heck of a deal on it and uh, here we are and I'm, I'm really liking the bike. I mean it'll, it'll still drag but it, it's nothing like that Slim. Most of that's at slower speeds, and you know I can I can go along on a twisty road, and you know maybe touch down every now and again. Uh, what I call your know, normal spirited riding. Uh, anything with floorboards with normal spirited riding, you're, you're you're gonna drag. I mean that's just. But so far I'm really enjoying this motorcycle. Wish I had a little more miles on it so I could get down and play on it a little bit harder. But, uh, you know, hey, it's it, it's still a blast and it's still riding. Uh, i said many times that I, it doesn't matter what I'm on. I, I could be on a moped and, I mean, hey, let's be real. Try riding a moped and not smiling. Uh, anything with two wheels, I'm, I'm going to have a good time. Yeah, oh yeah, gotta love fresh grass clippings. And here we are. Cowboy Harley Davidson. See how close we got. 984 miles. That's close enough to a thousand for me. That was fairly painless. In and out in about at two hours. Break in service done, bike cleaned up, which uh, on these greasy wet roads that we've got right now is gonna be probably mucked up pretty quick, but for right now it looks really good. I appreciate it.
All right, we've got the thousand mile service done. 4,000 miles later, we will do the second break in service, and then after that, it'll be just every five grand to keep it roadworthy. And while it's under warranty, I guess for the next two years, I'll be getting everything done to the dealership. It's kind of pricey that way, but that way there's no question if anything happens, uh, shouldn't have any trouble getting it covered, having all the service done by factory authorized or certified technicians. Yeah, see what I mean? A little bit of floorboard scrapage there, but I mean, on that slam, it would have been just brutal and constant all the way through that turn. This is, I think, going to be a really good uh, general purpose bike for me. I'll be able to, to cruise nice and slow with my wife. Uh, I can go out and if I don't feel like like being tucked up uh, or if I just want to cruise and then find a good road and, and want to get a little bit of aggressive with it I can um, long distance trips are going to be great uh, I got a nice setup with a, the detachable sissy bar to put it on and uh, to tow the pillion around and I, I, I just think I'm really going to be happy with it I, I really am so far uh, I think I'm going to put a lot of miles on this bike and uh, right now I think I'm just going to let you go and, and I hope you enjoyed uh, my very first moto vlog. Uh, I'll try to put some more out and maybe I'll get better. It won't be quite as boring. Probably say uh a lot less in the future. Think about what I'll have to say. In the meantime, I'm going to go enjoy me a little ride and and y'all get out there and try to get some riding in too hopefully have a prettier day than we got here y'all take care thanks for watching